Hey there everybody, it's me, Ira, and I'm back for the first time in a while with another new indie game. Uh, I have not made a video for a while because I have been focusing more of my efforts on Twitch, where you can watch me at twitch.tv slash iraplaysgames, currently three times a week. Uh, check, check that out for details, check my Discord and my Twitter for details. Um, however, I'm not gonna have a chance to stream this game anytime soon, and honestly, I just... I really needed to share it with you all. This game is called Demon Crawl uh, by Therefore Games. It was uh, published in November of 2019. However, there's just been a huge content update at the start of June this year. Uh, this game is billed as a, a Minesweeper roguelite. Yes, you heard that correctly. Those of you who are old like me probably spent a lot of time playing Minesweeper on your old Windows computer, your old, your old Windows 98 computer maybe. Maybe your Windows uh, your Windows 3.1 computer. Did that have Minesweeper? I don't remember, it was so long ago. In any case, uh, this game takes the concept of Minesweeper and adds roguelite elements to it. And it is extremely cool. It is extremely difficult, sometimes unforgiving. Uh, but I, I just, I, I had to share this with you all, to share this with the world. Um, there's this sort of story mode here in Quest. There's, uh, there's also a classic game mode where I think you just play one shot. There's a token shop where as you, your character levels up, you can change your profile picture as you unlock new ones. I'm level 14 right now, I've been playing a lot and, uh, it's, it's good. The more you level up and complete quests, the more tokens you get, and then you can buy bonuses and all kinds of it. There's, there's a lot of content in this game. And I'm not going to spend too much time looking at all the details as you find items in the game. They get unlocked here and you can look at what they do. So before we get started, I did want to take a moment. I always try to show off the options and I just want to give a shout out to the developers of this game because they have really, even though this is just a little indie game, they have gone all in on the accessibility options. Um, you can turn on and off stuff that usually you don't have control over, right? So you can confine the cursor to the game window if you want to, but you don't have to. And I hate it when games confine the cursor to the game window and then I can't go over to the other monitor. Um, you can turn off things like uh, the screen shake, which I have done. You can turn, you can uh, make simpler menu effects, show the FPS, particles, shaders, uh, very, very uh, specific audio sliders, and you can choose whether or not to mute the game in the background. With most games, most games don't give you the choice. They just turn off the sound if you leave the window, uh, or leave it on no matter what. Uh, this is really useful if you're a streamer, for example, like me. Um, you can rebind all of the keys. You can change game rules that you need to change. Uh, just all kinds of different options. And then you can choose whether to sync with the Steam Cloud. You can choose whether to submit your, your scores to the leaderboard. Um, basically, just every option that you could want is here. Um, well done. Well done to the developers of this game. Good job on the accessibility options. I appreciate it. But basically what, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take you all on a run. So, here are the quests. Tutorial I finished, and then there's glory days. And um, I, need to, I need to save up the tokens for the next quest. I have only completed this quest once. And it was, it took a lot of tries just to beat it once. Uh, I currently have, as you can see, I only have one mastery unlocked. When you start off, you don't have any of this. This is all, all this stuff unlocks gradually as you play. So because I have this master at the start of each stage, I glean 10 hidden cells. That means uh, it will tell me the, the contents of 10 cells, which I can't see. Sigils, I don't have any of yet. And let's just get in here. So here's the quest. We have all, these are all of the stages of this quest. To complete the quest, you have to complete all of the stages. Uh, in order, and it's quite difficult. There are shops, this is a shop here, where you can pick up some items. You have five health to start off with. Uh, I have no no defense, and I have no money yet because I've just started out. Also, because I'm over level five, I've got one daily quest to destroy three signs. Uh, this is easier said than done because you can't just click on a sign to destroy it. You have to get a creature in the game to destroy it. It's all, let's just get into the game. I'm just gonna show you folks. I'm just going to show you. So this is the first level, very simple. Now, like with any game of Minesweeper, first thing you click on will kind of determine the shape of the level. And if you're familiar, so these these things here, coins, gems, we can pick up. Uh, we got a, we got a, an item, Morning Glory, past 30 turns. Okay. Uh, the items are very complicated in this game. I got to tell you, they're very complicated. 
Uh, some of them are really, really complicated. I'm not gonna spend too much time digging into the weeds. I just kind of want to show this off to you. So we found a nomad here. A nomad is selling two apples for 12 coins. And now as I hover over him, we get a thing at the bottom that says consumable item restore one life. I do not have 12 coins, I only have seven. So I can't buy that yet. Uh, if you've never played Minesweeper because you are not as old as me, <laughs> which is probably the case for many of you, the way Minesweeper works is these numbers indicate how many of the tiles next to them have a mine in them, or in the case of this game, a monster. If you left click on one of these green tiles, it will attempt to remove the tile. If there's a monster in it, the monster will attack you. If you know there's a monster in a tile, like this one here has uh, definitely a monster in it, you right click it to mark it. Now I know that's a monster and I won't accidentally clear it away. Same thing here, this is a monster. Uh, so yeah, if, if you're familiar with Minesweeper, this is all very intuitive, but if you're not, you, you have to get the hang of it. We can look at this one here, and this one, one of the uh, eight tiles around it has a monster in it, and only one tile. It's only touching one tile, so it has to be that one, right? Same thing here. This one has to be a bomb. This is a three, and it's only touching three tiles. Easy. This is the first level, folks. It's quite easy. Now, these numbers here are revealed because of that mastery I showed you, this one right here. Normally, you would not see these, okay? So this two is touching two. There's two here. You can click that. This two is touching two. There's two here. Click that for sure. And it will automatically mark the last two. And we can finish. At the end of each stage, you get experience points. You get extra experience points for uh, beating it with no damage. And there's a few other things that you can get extra points from. But that's the first level. Now, I'm, I'm not going to go into quite as much detail as I go now. I'm just going to basically play. So we got a chest here. We got seven gold. Okay. Uh, now, when the level is too big like this, you can use the WASD keys to scroll. And yes, the levels can get pretty big. So, um, I'm just going to start, start filling this in and see if I can get... Okay, so I'm already now at a spot where um, I might have to start guessing. I might have to start guessing. Uh, it is not like Sudoku and puzzles like that where it's always, you can always uh, figure out what to do based on logic. Sometimes you can and sometimes you have to take a risk and you have to guess. Now, before I start guessing or looking too closely, the only item I have, it's always good to check what items you have. The only one I have passes 30 turns, which is not useful to me right now. I don't have anything that needs that. We can, however, narrow this down a bit, okay? So if we look at this one here, only one of these three has a monster in it, right? And actually, if we look at this one, one of these two definitely has a monster in it. So that means this one can't have a monster in it because it has to be one of these two. So I can left click that to open it up, right? Now this two here is only touching two, so I can fill those in. And there's one there, I can use that to fill those in. And this is how we can start kind of picking away at it. This one's only touching three. That three's touching three now. There's a two, there's a one. Oh, it's starting to clear out, it's starting to clear out. Um, so yeah, that is, so one of these two has to be a monster, but only one of them. And this is a two, so it means one of these two is a monster, and then this one also has to be a monster. Now, because this two is touching two, we know that one's not a monster, and we know that one is, and we can start to finish this off, and we're done. So, so far, it's been pretty much straightforward Minesweeper. Uh, things start changing up a little bit when you start getting items. So let's go into the first item shop. I've only got 20 coins, which is not a lot. Uh, so I can't afford this middle item. Magic items will trigger an extra time. Can't do that. Uh, not all items are good, by the way. Some items are bad. So this is a drill for a number of turns equal to the val- I told you it gets complicated, my friends. <laughs> it's like doing your taxes sometimes. For a number of turns equal to the value of target visible cell. Spawn loot in that cell each turn and conceal all cell values. Oh goodness. All right, let's see if we can unpack what that actually means. So talking about target cells, that means after I use this item, I can click a cell with a number in it, right? The number can be a one, two, a three, sometimes a four, very rarely a five, and even more rarely it could be a six or a seven. I've never seen an eight. In theory, an eight could exist. Um, and that will choose a number. So in that cell, it will, for the however many turns, so if I click on a two, then for two turns, 
It will spawn loot in that cell each turn, but conceal all cell values. Cell values being the numbers that we use to solve the puzzle, so that actually is not that great. Uh, that's a pretty high price to pay for loot, and the loot could be, I mean, probably just gold, maybe items, but it doesn't specify, so I'm thinking that's probably not actually like it. What's this one over here? Angel of Stone. Guarantees one mystic statue per stage. Whenever you activate a mystic statue, restore five lives. Well, that sounds like a good item to have. So I'm gonna buy that. I've got six coins left. I uh, can't buy anything else, so let's leave and we'll go to the next level. The desert. Endure the blistering sun. Now these are gonna start getting bigger and bigger and more and more difficult. By the way, again, if you're not familiar with uh, Minesweeper, this right here tells you how many monsters are remaining in the grid, and this can be important sometimes, because sometimes you'll get down to the last bit and you're like, I'm not sure. And sometimes knowing how many are left can help you logic out what is there. Uh, this is the, this is not a Minesweeper uh, uh, mechanic, but this is the stage power, and that means how much damage a monster will hit, will do to you if you click on it. So if you make a mistake, and you left click on a cell and it turns out to have a monster, they will do one to two damage to you. Just keeping in mind, you only have five hearts. So we're gonna click a cell somewhere in the middle here. Oh dear. Ooh, that's, that's not the best. All right, we're gonna come back to this. These zeros that get revealed are tremendously helpful because it means you can click all around them. Now, be careful when we got here. Oh no! It's a, a curse or a hex, these are called. A gnarled branch, if you lose a magic if you use a magic item, you lose that item. Oh no, rotten treasure. Boo hiss. Um, keep in mind, I, I fell into this trap. This zero does not mean, it doesn't count the cell that it's in, right? So this actually has a monster in it, as we can tell from these ones. Uh, so when you see a zero, don't click the zero, but click everything around it. Okay, so this, this helps us out a little bit here. One, two, three. Uh, hmm. Hmm, okay. Um, all right, we got a one here. One of these has to be a monster. So this one can't be because of this two. All right, <laughs> it didn't help as much as I had hoped. Um, let's see. Uh, got a one here, one of these has to be a monster, but it could be any one of these. Okay, we got a one here. So that means that only one of these has a monster in it. And actually it has to be one of these two because of this one. So actually we can clear these three away. There we go. And that solved. <gasps> oh, it's a statue. Oh goodness, I thought this was a monster. I was like, no, did I make a mistake? <laughs> okay. Uh, so mystic statue plus 84% more rare loot. Reward destroy random omen. So I don't know, how do I get, I have this omen, I want to get rid of this omen. If I, can I just pick this up? Statue smiles, monsters grow. Whoa, what just happened? I don't know what just happened, folks. We, it looks like we've started over. Are we in a different stage? This is a more powerful stage. What happened? I'm so confused. I don't actually know what happened there. Mercenary spawner. Seal your first active inventory slot and spawn a mer mercenary. So that means... I won't be able to click on this, this first inventory slot. It will spawn a mercenary. Mercenaries are good because they wander around the map and they kill monsters as they find and they can clear out spaces for you. They can be tremendously helpful. Gambler, I'll bet you 14 coins that I can move to a hidden cell without getting hurt. If I'm wrong, you can have whatever I've got. It's only got nine coins. That's not a good deal, friend. I think I'm gonna go ahead Sealing this first inventory slot means I can't click on this, but I don't- this isn't useful to me right now. It may become useful later. There we go. Spawn a mercenary. So I have, to, I have to pay the mercenary, give you five coins. It is worth it to me, so keep an eye on that guy. As I'm over here, uh, turns only pass when you clear a space, by the way. Right-clicking does not pass a turn. So every time I click a space there, um, the mercenary will move in a random direction. Okay, and if it encounters a monster, it will... <laughs> the gambler's losing money. I did not give the gambler any money. Hmm. We've got a zero here, that's useful. 
useful. Uh, I'm gonna one here. So one of these two. But only one of these two has a monster in it, which means this one has to have a monster. Which means this one doesn't. Oh, there's a five. Not even a scratch. See, my, my, my familiar is going through and killing monsters. I really wish it was coming down here, where it would be more useful. Not so far. Not so far. Um, that has to be one because of this one. That has to be one. That has to be one. And that can't be one. And that can't be one. And that has to be one. Cool. We are just blazing through here. I think we're coming up on a point now, though. Where I'm gonna have to probably make some guesses. Which is always just terrifying. So two of these have monsters. One of these has a monster. One of these has a monster. Actually, it has to be one of these two, doesn't it? Because of this two. No, hold on. One of these has to be one. Only one of these can be one, so this has to be one. So we have one, two, and then one of these for the three. One of them for the two. Who boy. Three, four, only one of these. Probably not very helpful. Yeah, I think logic might not be enough this time. So let's look one more time. Always good to check what you've got. Yeah, none of this is helpful. What did this do again? If you use a magic item, you use that. You lose that item, right? Use it and lose it. Um, there are three monsters left. Two of them have to be... No, one of them has to be with the three. One of them has to be with the five. One of them has to be here. One, two, three. So actually, no. Hold on. I think this one can't be one. I think. No, that's not necessarily. Hmm. I think there is a way to solve some part of this through logic, but I'm not sure if I'm up to it while I'm being recorded. Because, you know, it's, uh, it's tricky. It's tricky using your brain like that. So I'm going to go ahead and be... I'm going to click this one. Oh, no, I was wrong. I was wrong. That is a monster. So we got one, two, three here. That means that one's not. At least that helps us out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. There we go. We finished it. You can see I did take three damage from this fruity scorpion of shadows. Oh, goodness. Okay. So what happened there? Yeah, I guess this entire level got re reloaded at a higher difficulty level when I clicked that statue. So maybe I have misunderstood what the statues do. Let's stop in the item shop. Blood magic, gain 100 mana and lose one life. I don't think so, and I can't afford these. So I'm not gonna buy anything. I am down to two life. I'm down to two life. This is a little scary. Okay, we found a heart. That's useful. I think these... these Crystals just give you mana, which I don't actually need right now. See, here's a sign. I have a quest to destroy signs, but basically you need to get a monster or a familiar or something to destroy signs. You can't destroy them directly. So... Oh, there's the statue. If I hover over that, here we go. It just says loot, an object you can collect. So, 32% more rare loot. So if I click this statue... Does it reload the map? Is that what happens? And then I have to start over. This is gain three minions. Does that mean there will be three minions on the map when I start? Let me clear away these to see what I can grab really, really easily before I click that. Let's see if there's any loot that I can grab? No, not really. Ooh, there's some. Get candy, 25% chance to spawn a heart during the next 10 turns. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Alright. I think... I think that's all that I can very easily grab. So... There's no reason to do that. I just felt like I had to. I felt compelled to. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this mystic statue and see if it reloads the level. And remember, we had that thing that said that our hearts will be refilled, right? What that was... Whenever you activate a mystic statue, restore five lives. Oh, and that... That hex is gone. 
So maybe the reward for this only happens when you complete the level? I need to look into that. By the way, this slot is locked, remember. I can't use this anymore. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Mystic Statue. Your worship is heard, monsters grow. Okay, so I am back up to full health. I guess I, I get the... Magic. I guess I get the, the minions later? Batwing boots. Oh, I got armor. Every 50 turns, you gain a random omen if you just clicked on a 3 or greater. So... I think that's worth it. I'm, I'm gonna put on this armor. So... Yeah, it's basically just luck. What, who are you? Mage. I will cast Bonfire at a random location for five coins. No, I don't think we need that. I don't think that's needed. Thank you. I appreciate the offer. I think I'm doing okay for now. Let's see. Two, three, four. Two, there. Just, bla just blazing through. Probably, probably about to make a terrible... An easily avoidable mistake, honestly. If I'm if I'm truly honest. <laughs> um, oh, zero. Love love those zeros. There's one, three, one, two, three, four. So one of these two. I have no way of knowing which. Also one of these two, but it could be this one, which satisfies them both. Or it could be this one and this one. In which case, it would be helpful to do the rest of the map and then come back once I know how many monsters there are, right? That's what I'm talking about, friends. One, two, three, two, three, three, four. So there are two monsters left. So by that, I know that this needs to be this one and this one. Three, one, two, three, four, five. That's touching two. Oh no, because then this three here is touching... So it could be like this. Two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Boom, did it. Thank you, Logic. All right, so, do I have three minions now from that statue? Have I been given, I, I was given three minions, awesome. Solve a random cell, if you're about to take damage, this minion will sacrifice itself to deflect one damage. Interesting. So these will be saved for, like, emergency situations, I think. Let's go... Let's go into the ocean. See, see what we find in the ocean. Give me that money. Give me that treasure. Oh no, it's a hex! Finality, you cannot be revived. Okay. It's not great. It's not the worst thing that could happen. It's not great either. To be honest with you, folks. More treasure. Batwing boots. Uh, this is the exact same one that I already have. By the way, if you get hit, I believe your, your armor breaks. So here's that statue. So I get more loot if I reload. Reward, unseal all of your inventory slots. So that would unseal this locked slot, which again, I don't actually need right now. Maybe I'll save this, and if I take damage... And I feel like I need to uh, heal up. Then I can use that. Alright, here's something that can help me. There's a one here, which means only one of these is a monster. However, one of these three has to be a monster because of this two. So that means we can clear away these two. Unfortunately, it didn't help us as much as I hoped it would. Dang! Dang it all. Oh, this is a tough one, folks. I might I might wind up having to having to having to do a guess. Um okay, here here's something. Here's something. We got a three here. Here's one. And then two of these. But it can't be both of these because there's a two here that already has one next to it, right? So that has to be one. And also, because one of these has to be one, that means it can't be this one. So it's one of these two. So that's something as well. Um still Again, one, two, one of these two has to be it, and there's a, there's a two here, uh, so it can't be this one or this one. Oh, there we've got a one. We've got a one. That is that is always helpful to just grab a, a one, two, three, one of these two, two, 
one of these two. So that means this one can't be one. That's, again, something. Something. We're gonna get there, my friends. We're gonna get there. Pretty sure. Alright, I'm not really sure. I don't think I can logic anymore. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try using one of these minions. Okay, so I'll use the minion, solve a random cell. And if I'm about to take damage, minion will sacrifice itself to deflect one damage. So if I do this... Okay. It has solved this, so I did lose the minion. Oh! What, what, is, what is this now? Whenever you collect loot, spawn a canker in its place. I don't like that. Well, that solved this one. So that did help a lot. Uh, I now know there's one monster left. And it has to be one of these two. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why I got that, that, uh, what are they called? Omens. I keep calling them hexes. Oh, I leveled up! Alright, so I got a token, and I got a new avatar. I can replace this one if I want to. Cool. Um, oh, and I've, I've unlocked, I've unlocked a new daily quest. So if I spend a hundred coins, I get three more tokens. Sweet. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna end the video here, folks. I'm, I'm actually running low on time. This is, uh... As you can see, we're only about halfway through. This is a often just a blisteringly difficult game, and it's sometimes it is just RNG, and it is just luck, and it's very tense when you just have to have a 50-50 chance of which one is going to be your death and which one is going to be winning the game, uh, and sometimes you lose. But, you know, it's um, that's the nature of Minesweeper, which uh, is a game that I always really loved and haven't played in a really long time, and now I've got this game as an excuse to play Minesweeper again, with but with monsters and stuff. And it's cool, and I'm having a really great time with it, and I definitely recommend this game. Uh, so, this has been Demon Crawl. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, this has been a useful video to you, all you folks. And, uh, you know, if, if, if this isn't your cup of tea and you're not interested in this one, do not worry, my friends. You know I'll be back soon. I will be back soon. With another new indie game, here and on Twitch. Uh, and you never know, you know, the next one I review might be your new favorite game. So, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!